didn't know news was her passion, could she have been an Olympic skater? If Mark never understood the thrill of forecasting our weather, would he have loved luge? Did Tim ever think that racing the wind might have been his dream? And if Jimmy didn't defend the sports fans of Ohio, could hockey have been his life? Nah. Trust me, guys, we made the right decision. Uh, yeah, th this is where we belong. I don't know, I thought I was pretty good playing hockey. The news team of WKYC salutes the Olympic teams of the USA. If Ramona didn't know news was her passion, could she have been an Olympic skater? If Mark never understood the thrill of forecasting our weather, would he have loved luge? Did Tim ever think that racing the wind might have been his dream? And if Jimmy didn't defend the sports fans of Ohio, could hockey have been his life? Nah. The news team of WKYC salutes the Olympic teams of the USA. Well, we have gotten so much response about our Olympic spots. A lot of people wanted to know if we were actually doing the stunts. With the, with the four of us? Well, <coughs> of course, sort of. Uh, well, all right, look, we made these Olympic spots and they were great fun and we'll show you some of what you might not have seen on the air. <laughs> I mean, for instance, in mine, now there I am, looking bold. Oh, there hey. I am doing the triple gainer. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. actually, yeah. that looks like Kyle, Mitzi Gainer. That was Kyle Crocker. <laughs> <laughs> there he is, my evil twin, Kyle Crocker, right there. Yeah. Uh, he, he wow. now, uh, now, you That's see, I could have done that. Yes. Oh, sure. I could have done that. Now, there I am, looking yeah, pretty sharp. Nice. Thanks as well to Kim Leventhal, everybody at Boston Mills. They do a great job out there. And to Kyle for doing that uh, one and a half somersaults. You actually great. fooled me. I thought it was you. Well, see, this is wow. Eric Schwarzer. Oh. Look at the way Look he at glides. Look at the way Isn't that wonderful? Oh. <laughs> what? 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 So that's, that's my 17-year-old dub double, Ashley Flournoy. Wow. And I can't skate any. I was so frightened. They actually had to take wow. me out in a chair, and they pushed me. <laughs> that shot right that's there. That's the shot. They're Are pushing the me in a chair. Yes. Where's the chair? <laughs> we want to thank Winterhurst <laughs> Ice Rink for allowing oh us to God. come out and do that. As you can tell, I'm so stiff. I'm yeah. scared. <laughs> I am I sure you like asked her to the uh, do the news tonight. The yeah, magic of television. Hey, what's uh, this? Jimmy. Yeah, this is me. Yeah, and us. I want to thank Gilmore Academy for letting us use their rink. And I want to thank the guys that were out there with me. Billy, Jake, Mark, and JT. They're from the Gilmore Prep Hockey Team. And Ryan from St. Ignatius was there, too. And we had a great time. There we are. And there's my fill-in, the goaltender. He was from St. Louis. And he's probably going to be playing at some major college in their hockey program soon. I don't know if it was because I'm uh, the dumbest of the group or what, but I didn't realize we could have stand-ins. And... Uh, <laughs> That was uh, Mickey Burns uh, helping me out fixing the uh, the old hair there, and there I am at the top of the uh, the toboggan chute there in Strongsville. Thanks to Bob Rotatore, who we've been working with for years. <laughs> that was me screaming. <laughs> we've been working with him for years with the uh, the Metro Parks for helping us out out there. Ooh. And uh, I got to tell you, that was an absolute uh, that was an absolute blast. And I so you didn't have a double at all. No, see, that was your screen. I think, you know what, I, I think we were over budget by the time I we got yours, <laughs> so we didn't have the doubles left. <laughs> well, they told me that I looked so young, they had to get a 17-year-old Oh, for I me. see. So That's young Ashley was, uh, yeah. yeah. And Eric, yeah, he is. was so handsome, he made me wish I could skate. <laughs> <laughs> you see that shot where he reaches that for job. me? That's a great shot. I was shot. like ready to go. Come on, Eric, take uh, me out there. I just want to make it clear that I could have done that one and a half gainer. Sure you could have. Not there at Boston Mills, I really could have. Look at that. Uh, like they to had to age her only a couple of years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So you're my evil. I made you several years thinking yeah. about this. <laughs> Tim, I, I, you fooled me because yeah. his body is very much like yours. Not Whoa, that I yeah. look. Hey, come on. Wait a second. It's 728. Let's go. Yeah, we send our apologies to Kyle little. and our thanks to you for watching. <laughs> Let's see you at 11. If Ramona didn't know news was her passion, could she have been an Olympic skater? If Mark never understood the thrill of forecasting our weather, would he have loved luge? Did Tim ever think that racing the wind might have been his dream? And if Jimmy didn't defend the sports fans of Ohio, could hockey have been his life? 
trust me, guys. We made the right decision. Uh, yeah, th this is where we belong. I don't know. I thought I was pretty good playing hockey. The news team of WKYC salutes the Olympic teams of the USA. If Ramona didn't know news was her passion, could she have been an Olympic skater? If Mark never understood the thrill of forecasting our weather, would he have loved luge? Did Tim ever think that racing the wind might have been his dream? And if Jimmy didn't defend the sports fans of Ohio, could hockey have been his life? Nah. The news team of WKYC salutes the Olympic teams of the USA.